Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Lewis Baldwin and the topic is the African Americans and the uh, United States Supreme Court. Dr. Baldwin, let's continue our discussion in reference to the African American and the court and some of the things that you believe to be important in terms of uh, uh, where we go from here. Yes, yes. I think one of the things, of course, we have to be concerned about is that we are moved completely from race, considerations based on race, to uh, a system of merit-based mm -hmm. admissions in colleges and universities, mm -hmm. for example, when you talk about affirmative action. Unfortunately, we don't have a third good marshal on the Supreme Thank Court you. anymore. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We don't have a third good marshal. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, Clarence Thomas, we have John Roberts, mm -hmm. we have uh, several other uh, people on the, mm -hmm. on the Supreme Court who uh, tend to lean toward the extreme right. Mm -hmm. And of course, we only have Alana Kagan and uh, Sonia Sotomayor oh, yeah. and uh, uh -huh and Ruth Bader Ginsburg on, 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 on the more liberal side, mm -hmm. who dis tend to decide in favor of what? Mm -hmm. uh, decisions that benefit mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. of color mm -hmm. and women. Mm -hmm. So what we have to be concerned about is where, uh, w what will happen to affirmative action? Mm -hmm. Now, in the past, uh, the Supreme Court has deferred to corporations and universities mm -hmm other institutions to make their own decisions about how they plan to pursue diversity. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that will happen in mm -hmm. the future. With the recent confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh mm -hmm. to the Supreme Court, and as you well know, there was a lot of conflict, there was a lot of tension surrounding mm -hmm. his nomination yeah, yes, and, and confirmation, confirmation yes. to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. uh, the fear we have now is that affirmative action will uh, eventually be eliminated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and nothing worse could happen to African Americans, then to people of color, and even right. women. Women, that's because right. women have benefited uh -huh, from affirmative uh -huh, action, mm -hmm. and that's often overlooked. Mm -hmm. The extent to which white women, black women, women in general, general very have good. benefited uh -huh. from affirmative action. Mm -hmm. So the question is, where will the Supreme Court go from here? Mm -hmm. What impact can we have on the kind of decision making that comes out of the court. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that uh, <laughs> that is a predominantly what? Mm -hmm. Republican court. Now, it we is. have to call it, it what it is. Been. That's right, it we is have, now. We yeah, have to call always... it what it is. Uh -huh. The only question we have now is how can we assure mm -hmm. that the future of this nation uh, is developed around this need? Mm -hmm to really include, include people, uh, okay, very good. to be inclusive, mm -hmm. to make sure that all people enjoy the fullness of equality mm -hmm. and their rights. Mm -hmm. Women, African Americans, Latinos, Asian, Asian Americans, mm -hmm. I think that's very important mm -hmm. as we look to the future in terms of what happens between uh, not only African Americans mm -hmm. in the Supreme Court, but minorities in general. Well, everything since, since the Brown decision. Yeah. Uh, dealing with uh, race yeah. is at stake yeah. in a real sense. And what we have to do, and the only way I see us getting around this situation, Dr. Baldwin, is through the suffrage. Yeah. That's about the only way. I mean, I don't uh, see any kind of uh, laws that might be, or uh, any kind of decisions that this court yeah. would be willing to issue yeah. that would to bring back affirmative action that would uh, do something in terms of uh, elevating the African American. I, exactly. don't, I don't see that in this court. And it's so a court that is designed to turn back the clock. Mm -hmm. and, and as we look to the future, we need to press forward. Mm -hmm. uh, as Dr. King and, and other civil rights leaders always said, that the goal is always to press forward mm -hmm. and to design ways in which one can move the nation mm -hmm. forward in terms of respect for diversity, mm -hmm. in terms of inclusiveness, and, and we can't do that any other way than through the ballot. That's the only way. I mean, that's yeah. the most important thing that we have going for us. It, it has always been, but quite recently, there seems to be a tendency on the part of some of us to yeah. simply not vote and to, to simply give vote. up and voting. That's you unfortunate, see? but mm -hmm. we are hoping that the 2000 and 18 midterms Terms, uh -huh. will be different. Uh -huh. That people have gotten to the point where they realize that we're moving back mm -hmm. instead of forward mm -hmm. and they will come out and vote. 
uh, because the makeup the, of the Supreme Court is just as important mm -hmm. as the makeup of the Senate mm -hmm. and the House of Representatives oh, yeah. and the executive branch. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't pay attention to the Supreme mm -hmm. Court. But mm -hmm. those on the right did, and that's why Brett Kavanaugh was uh -huh. confirmed. That's right. That's because they are uh -huh. expecting him to be a force in striking down, down. Uh -huh. affirmative action, mm -hmm. in striking down mm -hmm. uh, uh, the right of a woman to choose, mm -hmm. in undermining the reproductive rights of women, mm -hmm. uh, in supporting uh, those who are into gun advocacy. Mm -hmm. And, and those who are opposed to immigration, mm -hmm. which brings in more people of color. Uh -huh. So uh, the right, I think, understands the extreme right, the what's going on. That's right. But the important thing is that those of us who are not on the extreme right, mm -hmm. those of us who support uh, democratic policies, more mm -hmm. liberal policies, more inclusive policies, have to get involved through the ballot. Mm -hmm. And there's no other way. No I other mean, way. there's no other way that, uh, as a matter of fact, the con I think it's constructed. And mm -hmm. That's why the vote is important. And, and what we have to do is to make every person, not only Africans, because uh, black, white, or whatever, make every person understand how important the suffrage is. That's it, the most important thing in a democracy. That's right. That's what a democracy is all about, isn't it? That's right. You mm -hmm. lose democracy if mm -hmm. you don't vote. Mm -hmm. Your voice is not represented. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the gains that we've made as a result of the civil rights mm -hmm. movement, Martin Luther King Jr.'s mm -hmm. sacrifices, mm -hmm. the sacrifices of other people, mm -hmm. grassroots people, all of that is lost mm -hmm. if we don't go vote. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the important thing. And, and, and so that's why the Supreme Court is important. But now, see, it, it, it seems now that... Uh, the Supreme Court just might be out of our reach in terms of having any kind of influence because uh, what do we do? 